it's a very tedious and time taking task the first and the foremost thing that we need to understand is we need a lot of patience to build this process and this will take a lot of time and you will have to follow the steps meticulously and if you miss even one step in between it is going to trouble us in the entire flow so we request you to follow the steps carefully and we are going to do it right now let's connect to the raspberry pi right now with the ip address that we have been using all the way once it is all done we have to start the process and one very important thing that we need to understand is the open cv 4 is to be installed on the raspberry pi and we need to have good amount of memory if we have say just 8 gb of memory which is small in size we need to expand the memory size and we have guidelines available for all these in the website link in the ppt when we have discussed the theoretical explanation you can see that we need to go through this step by step and this is the page from where we could understand everything clearly and please understand that don't miss any step out here we are going to have each and every step followed very clearly and as i told you when you have limited amount of memory you can have the option of expanding it we have got 128 gb sd card hence we need not expand it but we are going to show you the procedure to do it right now you need to type sudo raspi hyphen config and in that go to advanced options and in that you can see we have an option a1 available right over there by clicking that you can expand and upgrade your storage without this step you cannot expand or upgrade your storage and we follow the steps that are prescribed clearly in the website and we are going to now install the dependencies one by one we are going to get the update and the upgrade of the raspberry pi the command issued right in front of you and it will take a lot of time for this to happen as well first it will go ahead and update and it will ask you if i can go ahead with the upgrade you need to give yes once it is done we need to go with the next step where we need to install the developer tools including cmake with the command that is made available in the web link and just copy paste it it will work fine it may take few minutes for you to get this process done and the next step is again going to be installation of the dependency files we need to install the image and the video libraries and it, they are very very critical for any camera related operations and that's the next step that we need to carry on with so once this step is done which will take a lot of time as we already prescribed you need to wait and you need to go ahead with the next step these are all the commands that you need to issue one after another and they are taking care of the image and the video libraries let's issue that one after another you can see that it is getting run and you need to give yes wherever it is required so once it is issued you need to go ahead with all the three commands next we need to install gtk which is very very important and we have done that right now please follow the procedures and it will take a lot of time once again we are telling you and followed by that we need to go ahead with installation of two packages which contain the numerical optimization for opencv and that's done with this command and we are going to install the python 3 development headers right now after this so you need to copy paste this command and we are running that as well please make sure all these are done meticulously without any mistake now please use the command cd tilt which will take you to the home directory and then you need to get the opencv 4 completely downloaded so this command which we are issuing will get you the archive i mean the zip of the complete opencv installables and we need to issue these two commands without fail once you have the zip file it is obviously required for you to unzip it and that's what we are doing right now with the unzipping option unzip opencv.zip and unzip opencv underscore contrib.zip is done right now and it is better to rename that opencv-4.0.0 is difficult to remember and difficult to type so we make it opencv and opencv contrib is another renaming that has been done right now in front of you the next step is very important where we are going to configure your python 3 virtual environment for opencv4 so for that you need to follow the steps where we are going to install pip and followed by that we are going to run the sudo python 3 get pip.py command these two will help in getting things done now we are going to make use of the virtual environment for the python development and it is very important 
please make sure that you are getting all the results completely as you get in front of you so what is the next step the next step is going to be very important and we are going to go ahead with virtual environment setup now this virtual environments will allow you to run different versions of python software in isolation on your system if you want to understand more about that please click on the links that are available in the same page which are blogging pages which are created by pyimage search it is very nice to read and we recommend you to do that and please issue these two commands that are very important which will help you in the installation of virtual environment and virtual environment wrapper now what we need to do is we need to go ahead with the further commands that are to be issued which are presented in front of you and we need to open the file called as profile so we are going to do that right now and we are going to open a file called as profile with the nano or vi or vim editor we are using the nano editor since we are very familiar with it and we are opening the dot profile file in that profile file we need to copy paste these three lines of code and it is very very important to be done these are very important and this helps us in getting the virtual environment and the virtual environment wrapper set so we have copy pasted it right now and you need to save it and exit it properly if you do not want to do this way you can also go ahead with the bash commands and that option is also presented in front of you you can try that out but we prefer you to go ahead with the first option since it is easier to go ahead but if you are familiar with bash you can do that as well the next step is to source it source tilt backslash dot profile will get you the complete updates enabled and up and running that's it now what is the next step to do we are going to create further steps we are going to go ahead with further steps where we can create our open cv4 plus python 3 virtual environment on our raspberry pi so issue this command mk virtual env cv hyphen p python 3 once you issue that command it may take few seconds for it to run and you could see that we have got cv option enabled over there that cv is nothing but the virtual environment you have got the cv and that tells you that you are into the virtual environment and you can name it the way you want you can name it as pi3 cv4 pi3 cv3 pi2 cv2 or something like that and there is no necessity that you should always use the term cv only we will have to go ahead with the rest of the process right now and the first step now is to be installing the numpy let's install pip install numpy it is going to help us in installation of numpy and it may take few minutes for the process to be complete depending on your internet speed once it is done the next step is to install the cmake and to compile opencv4 for the raspberry pi so for that we need to first navigate to the opencv directory we will go back to that with cd tilt backspace open cv and then we need to get a new directory created called as mkdir build and we get navigated to the build directory right now once it is done we are going to go with the cmake running option yes copy paste this command this will help us in running the cmake to configure the open cv build this will take a little bit of time and once you get that done please verify all the messages that are shown here the successful compilation will let you get the same messages as you can see in the screen and please ensure that you get all these you need to get the same data for the interpreter with the path being mentioned clearly as cv bin python 3 and similarly you get the same thing for the numpy as well you will have to check it again make sure that all these validations are done properly and one more very important thing to verify is the non free algorithms are to be set as yes and this has to be validated to make sure that the process is all smooth once you are done with it we will have to go with the next very important step of increasing the swap size what is it very simple this will enable us to use all the four cores of the raspberry pi while installation of open cv without getting the raspberry pi hanged if we are not enabling it there is a possibility that the raspberry pi would get hanged so let's go ahead and increase the swap size for that we need to use the sudo nano with the path that we are mentioning right now and you need to open the file this file will help us in enabling or setting up a different swap size the file name is dphysys-swappy there go to this line as we are showing and change the swap size to 2048 it was earlier 100 which was a very small stuff and now we are increasing it 
Now once it is done, we have changed it, but we need to restart the swap service to make it effective. For that commands are available as you can see in front of you and once issued, the restart will effectively initialize the new swap size and this might take few seconds. And once this is done, we are going to go with compilation of the OpenCV4. This is one of the longest tasks that you need to really do and this may take around 3 hours for you based on your system speed. Now we have spent around 2.5 hours to 3 hours for this entire process to be complete. But have patience and this will take time and this has to be completed without fail. The command to be issued is make hyphen J4 and this J4 is very important here where it tells you that we are using 4 cores for the compilation. And in case you get any errors, you can try without hyphen J4 option and it should be successful. Up till that time it shows you 100% in this process, you are not supposed to quit. 100% tells you that the process is 100% done and you are all set to go. So you will have to wait and as we told already, it may take hours and have patience. Now it is 8% on screen as you could see. So once it is done, we will have to go with the next step where we can make the install process with sudo make install and then we will have to go with sudo id config. This will help us in the installation process to get to the next level. Now after so long time, we got the 100% message right on the screen. Now our step is to install the OpenCV4 with two additional commands which are nothing but sudo make install followed by sudo id config. Once this is done, we are almost done and you can take a little breather. Let's try that commands right now. sudo make install. That's the first command that we need to issue after the previous process is done. You could see that it is done right now. It may take few minutes again. It is relatively faster than the previous process. So you need not worry. Now there is a very important step that one should do. Resetting the swap size back to the previous original size. We need to open the same file that we opened earlier and we can do it with nano and we are opening the same file dp hys hyphen swap file. We are getting into the same line of code where we changed it to 2048. Now we need to reset back to 100. So we are restoring it back to 100. We are trying to save it. It did not get saved because we do not have permissions. Now for that to be done, we need to choose sudo option. Yes, we have forgotten to use the sudo in the first step and we are now to use the sudo option along with the command. Now once it is done, you are free to change it and you could see that we will now be able to save it freely without any problems. Now the swap size is restored to 100 and it is updated. Before going to the next step, we need to make sure that we have to restart the swap service without which it won't be effective. We have shown the commands already for restarting it and take the same commands and without doing this, your process won't be complete. So without fail, please do it. After restarting the swap service, it is time for us to go ahead with the rest of the steps. We need to link the OpenCV4 into the Python 3 virtual environment. Let's copy paste this command and you can see that the command ended up in a failure. Why? The reason is simple. The path might not be really right. So what do we suggest? Very simple. Type it and use auto completion feature. When you type for example the first few characters and then press tab it will automatically complete the rest of the path. In our system, it is Python 3.7 and in the command, it was Python 3.5. So copying it right away might lead to a lot of troubles here and it could lead to erroneous results. You can see that it is 3.7 in our machine and when we copy pasted it, it was copy pasting as 3.5. So how would it work? It won't work and we request you to go through with the auto completion feature which can be used with the tab button. And it is very easy for you and we request you to follow the procedure meticulously. Once the first line is completed appropriately with tab space option being used, the second line is also to be used. The ln hyphen yes is a soft link command and change the python as 3.7 as appropriately as we have done if your version is also 3.7. Make sure the version numbers are all right. And then let's clear the screen. It looks clumsy, isn't it? So we are clearing it and we are getting into the home directory. 
cd space tilt is the command for it and we get back to home directory now we need to get into the virtual environment so what do we do for that work on cb is the command that we need to use and you can see that it has gotten us into the cb virtual environment now you can see that i am starting the python interpreter and there is where we are importing cv2 this may take few seconds for the process to be completed and once this is done we are all set to go and we can go ahead with testing it there are many other ways of installation of open cv but often they lead to errors even though this method is long patiently follow along the website and the complete instructions for the installation